Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our astrology forecast and guidance for the week ahead. This coming week, Jupiter enters Aries. We celebrate the solstice. Capricorn season begins. We have a super new moon in Capricorn and Chiron, the planet of healing, stations direct. December the 20th, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, joyful energy and adventure, optimism and abundance, enters active, fiery Aries, the initiator. December the 21st, be prepared. For those in the Southern Hemisphere, solstice marks the longest day of the year and heralds the season of summer. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, solstice brings us the longest night of the year and ushers in the winter season. May the solstice bless us illuminating the wisdom that our heart has been trying to show us. December the 21st, our sun enters Capricorn, one of the most goal-oriented, persevering, organized, calculated, practical, hardworking signs of the zodiac, symbolized by the sure-footed goat that is able to negotiate difficult terrain Capricorns are born climbers and high achievers, putting their dreams into action. December the 23rd, the new moon in Capricorn. The new moon is a time of new beginnings, of planting seeds. Capricorn invites us to take an honest look at the past year, face the impact of our actions, weed out what hasn't been working for us, and find new ways to nurture our hopes and dreams building them on a strong foundation that will carry us forward in the year ahead. Its energy continues to help bring these seeds to fruition in over time. The full moon is a time of culmination and the promise of fulfillment of that which was started at the new moon. It's a time of harvesting those seeds that had been planted, waxing and waning, planting and harvesting, all divine appropriate timing. Plant those seeds, water and nurture them, and leave the rest in the Creator's hands. Trust Spirit. Capricorn gives us a determination to fix what's worth fixing and to get the job done right. And we don't do this alone. With our higher power as our partner, we will always succeed. Let Spirit lead and be our guide. With the new moon in Capricorn, it's a time to make plans or start something new. If you've been wanting a new job or to make something happen, now is the time. It's a great time to focus on some of the best traits that Capricorn has to offer. Tenacity, resourcefulness, discipline, wisdom, ambition, prudence, constancy. And consider how to positively incorporate these qualities into our lives. With a Capricorn moon, achievement and success and duties and responsibilities may become more important to us, inspiring us to work hard and to overdo. Acutely aware of the limitations of time, we don't want to waste it and may end up taking on more than we should. Make a list and setting priorities making a list, sorry, and setting priorities may help us to take good care of ourselves not overdo, and better achieve our goals. Remember, one step at a time. With this potent Capricorn energy, we have the chance to create some serious order in our lives. It's time to make some solid plans and to set the stage for reaping the rewards from our new beginnings. December the 23rd, Chiron, the planet of healing, stations direct in Aries. Astrologically, Chiron shows where and how there have been woundings in our life. With Chiron, we learn that our greatest strength and healing comes from our greatest wound. If we have the courage to embrace our woundedness with love and compassion, with gentleness and self-care. Chiron and Aries invites us to take a closer look and ask ourselves, where do I belong? Do I even need or want to fit in? How can I maintain my individuality and be part of a group? 
when we're in the stillness or the silence, what are the voices that come up in our head? What does our inner critic like to tell us? When we acquaint ourselves with our not so kind or not so loving thoughts, we can overcome their power and then replace them with empowering affirmations. So I'm not good enough becomes I am enough. I'm stupid, I should have known better becomes I tried my best, I all, I'm always learning. I'm unlovable, no one will ever love me becomes I'm lovable and worthy of love. The goal of Chiron and Aries is to love and embrace the chorus of voices that makes us who we are. The creator has gifted us with Chiron. We need to see ourselves as the creator sees us with eyes of comp compassion and love. We need to give ourselves permission to feel our pain, to come out of hiding, to be honest with ourselves and others, to speak the truth, to give voice to our woundedness, to embrace it and to love it, to healing and to life, to rewrite our stories, to bring our stories into the light, to be healed and to heal others. We need to pray with open hands, allowing the creator to take away what we don't need and to gift us with what we do need. It's all in divine timing. That's the gift of healing that Chiron brings to us and that we in turn can bring to the world. So what do Jupiter and Aries, the solstice, Capricorn season, the new moon in Capricorn and Chiron direct in Aries want us to know for our highest good? From Colette Baron reads the Enchanted Map Oracle card deck, we are gifted with number 43, details, details. So perfect for this season of Capricorn in this time of new beginnings. Using the best gifts that Capricorn has to offer, tenacity, resourcefulness, organization, steadfastness, patience, to name a few, it's important that we pay attention to the details so that whatever we may be creating, we build it on a solid foundation. And remember, we do not do this alone. It's important that we call upon spirit, the creator, our angels, guides, ancestors, mentors, and light workers, family, friends, colleagues, counselors, therapists, those who we can trust and depend on. Our whole team, both spiritual and human, is here to support, guide, direct, and protect us. Reach out. Have faith. Be rooted in hope and love. And most of all, have fun creating. Feel the joy. Amen. Aho. And so it is. I am Martina Severo, Oracle card reader, astrologer, certified infinite possibilities coach, and founder and creator of Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. Welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you would like a personal oracle card or astrology reading or infinite possibilities coaching with me, be sure to explore my website. Easy to navigate on computer and phone. It's effortless to find, schedule, and pay for services with just the click of a button. You are also able to book a free consultation with me. Happy exploring. Prefer reading blog posts? Blog posts? <laughs> You can receive notifications when I posted a new blog on my website. Never miss a new blog post. Links are below. Wishing you and yours abundant blessings.